Hey guys, we we match. Isn't that cute? I've just been feeling kind of gray is all. Like my inside voice has been kind of quiet lately. Not a lot of instructions forthcoming, you know? Yeah, well, it sounds like you're sad. Listen, Ben, girls like horses. If you fall down, it's important that you get right back on again. On a different horse. And there's a lot of fish in the sea. This review has been a long time coming. I've had my Tay Flipper for a few months now and I just haven't had the time to sit down and record the review for it. But I'm back, I have a lot of things to review and it all starts with this one. The Tay Flipper is probably my favorite 3D printed ballast song and there's plenty of reasons why. The good part starts before you even get to the knife itself. The unboxing experience on the Tay Flipper is by far the best unboxing experience I've had on a ballast song so far. First of all, it comes in a really nicely finished box with the Tay Flipper logo stuck onto it. And it comes wrapped in a ribbon that matches whichever color handles you chose. If you have just the default black on black Tay Flipper, then opening the box will reveal your knife sitting nicely in a fitted 3D printed shell. However, if you got custom handle colors, you'll not only see the trainer and that 3D printed shell, but also a custom Torx driver printed in the same color as your handles and an included T8 bit for tuning. Not many knives I know of include a starter bit for tuning, which makes the Tay Flipper one of the best starter knives that I can think of. Having a driver is something a lot of beginner flippers just don't have or they don't realize they need. A lot of new people don't realize that you constantly have to tune your knives in order to keep them in really good shape. Especially on washers, which is the most common pivot system for knives around this price range, you're gonna have to learn to adjust your knife. It's gonna be a common problem, it's just something you're gonna have to learn and develop the skill for as you get more into the hobby. Tay, including the driver here, shows that he's making the product with care. He's thinking of every way he can to make our flipping experience just that much better and that much easier, especially for new flippers. Taking it out of the box, I'm sure you'll immediately realize one thing. It's 3D printed. And of course you already knew that when you bought one, but what I'm saying is if you look at it and while you're flipping it, you can tell it's 3D printed. Although still being great and not feeling bad by any means, the handles don't feel quite as smooth as something like a Squiddy does. This is one of the things about the Tay Flipper that might immediately turn you away from it and something that I really hope gets addressed in future versions. The edges of the handles, especially on the inside just due to the nature of 3D printing, are a little sharp. When you're printing on a flat bed, the way printing works is that it will form a perfect 90 degree angle because one side of your surface is completely flat and you're just building upon it. This perfect 90 degree angle is just a little sharp on the hands and it's mostly noticed on the inside where that 90 degree angle actually comes in. On the outside of the handles, it's a lot better. The outside of the handles have an angle on the edges. I do wish it was more of a rounding rather than an angle. It's good, but it's just one of those things that leads the Tay Flipper to feel almost a little pointy in the hand sometimes. I really hope we see a Tay Flipper with more rounded handle edges, maybe in a future drop or just like a beta test kind of thing. Overall though, the handles do feel really good in the hands. The top surfaces of the handles are well polished and feel super smooth. The size of the handles on the Tay Flipper is also something that might take getting used to, but has become my absolute favorite part about it. The Tay Flipper is actually the biggest trainer I own, and most of it is just straight up handle size. On something like my Prisma, which is about the same overall length, most of the length comes down to the blade being extra long, but on the Tay Flipper, the handles in the blade are about equally as long, making it even out to just having massive handles. One of the most important parts about a Balasong to me is how fun it is, and the giant size of the Tay Flipper really just makes this thing a complete blast. The big size really helps to set it apart from other plastic trainers as well. After flipping the Tay Flipper so much, things like the Squiddy and the Cycloid I picked up and I'm actively like, this is kind of small for what I'm used to. And I'll touch on it a little later, but when you make a 3D printed ballast song, I feel like you have to compensate a little bit for the weight loss by adding extra size. But overall, I do have a thing for big knives. Some of my favorite knives in the world, like the Prisma and the Firefly V2, are huge. The problem I have with a lot of 3D printed and just plastic ballast songs in general is that because of the light weight, it can make it difficult for those knives to carry momentum properly. The size of the Tay Flipper definitely, definitely helps with that because there's just so much extra handle swinging around that there's like an extra half inch of just straight material to give you extra momentum. 
When it comes to the balance of the Tay Flipper, the combination of a good weight system and that extra handle size makes this thing balanced beautifully. It's actually surprisingly neutral and you can remove these weights on the top to give it a handle bias if you really want to. I wouldn't really advise it because one, the original balance is good enough, but two, the way the ball bearings are pressed into the blade means if you do pop them out, you have the risk of damaging your blade or not being able to put them back in properly. The tape flipper comes in at 2.4 ounces, but like I said, the overall size and momentum makes it feel almost heavier than that. Overall, out of all the plastic and 3D printed ballast songs that I've tried, the tape flipper definitely flows the best. And honestly, compared to some of the metal trainers I've tried, this thing flows really well. It's definitely the plastic ballast song I find I can be the most smooth and comfortable with while flipping. The Tay Flipper does have some extra features like jimping and a bite indicator on the blade, but unfortunately, both of these I have some pretty big problems with, and honestly, I think are some of the worst parts about the Tay Flipper. I'm sorry, Tay. Let's just start with the jimping because this is a pretty easy one. It just doesn't come down far enough. Honestly, I love the way it's implemented. It feels great and it adds a lot of grip. There just needs to be more of it. When I'm doing ladders and choker fans, my hand doesn't even touch the jimping. You'll have to double or even like 2.5 times the length of the jimping for it to actually do anything. Like I said, it feels great and it's really, really well done. It just needs to be longer for it to have any use. Now, as for the bite handle indicator, I like that there is an option for one, but I feel like if you're going to have a symmetrical design like this, why put a bite handle indicator on it? This means that if you have the same color handles, which the stock tape flipper does, it is quite literally impossible to tell which handle you're on until you open it and just get bit by it. It's a complete gamble and I really, really don't like that about it. Now, if you have two different colored handles, that's no problem. And also, if you want to put a bite indicator on it, like a rubber band, you can also do that too. But I feel like from a design perspective, especially with the base model being all black and you not being able to tell a difference, I feel like there should just be some kind of indication which handle is which. The bite handle indicator on the tape flipper works well and is pretty uncomfortable if you get touched by it, which is why I have such a problem with this. Again, if there was just some way to tell with the knife closed which side was which on the base or even tape flipper with the same colored handles, this would be great. I'd have no problem with a bite handle indicator. But if you're gonna make a perfectly symmetrical design, it should be able to flip on both sides. It just kind of defeats the purpose for me. And it's really just the main thing that I don't like about the tape flipper. Another thing is these handles are so thick that they actually broke my handle indicator. Uh, I had a rubber handle indicator. It was one I got from Squid at Blade Show and it just snapped it over the course of like a day or two. Actually, it was more like a week, honestly, but still that's not a good thing. Please, please just indicate in some way when the knife is closed, which handle is which. But now let's talk about the most important thing, flipping. Everything ahead of us is totally unknown and there's no guarantee that things are going to be all right. Flipper is genuinely one of my favorite ballast songs to flip. Not just one of my favorite 3D printed ballast songs, not one of my favorite ballast song trainers, just one of my favorites. It's just fun. It's more fun than any other plastic ballast song, hands down. And it's even more fun than half of the metal trainers I've tried. It flows and fits my style so perfectly. After coming back from Blade Show, I have tried a lot of knives. Some my own, some other people's that are very expensive. And still, after trying almost every commonly used Balasong, the Tay Flipper still remains in my top five knives. I'm aware I keep calling it a knife, but that's just what I'm used to calling Balasongs. So it's a trainer, but I still call it a knife just because that's what I'm used to. Like I said before, the weight, size, and balance of this thing works so well to give it such good momentum and such good flow. I find it almost addicting. When I start flipping it, I have a hard time putting it down. One of the issues I have with most plastic trainers is that certain tricks feel like a little sketchy and almost like I'm messing them up and I can't figure out why. 
The Tay Flipper doesn't do that. The Tay Flipper just works better than any other plastic belly I've tried so far. Touching back to what I said earlier, I think Tay realized that when you shave off that much weight, making a plastic trainer, you have to do something to compensate. You know, you can't keep it as small as something like a four ounce Mako or something like that. In order to make up for the weight loss, you have to either increase the size or change the momentum in some way, and Tay knew that. The tape flipper was designed in such a way that right now, I think this is about as good as it gets when it comes to flipping a 3D printed trainer. Like I said, I genuinely hold this thing in the top five of all of my ballast songs when it comes to how much I enjoy flipping it. Flipping the tape flipper is, is just great. Grip is awesome, it flows beautifully. I've said it a million times, but this thing is just so fun to flip. It does great for aerials as well as rollover tricks. And durability wise, it holds up. Like I said, I've had mine for a few months now and it's got some dings, it's got some scratches, but this thing is still in perfect flipping condition and the tolerances are actually pretty close to what they were originally. I genuinely, genuinely love this thing. And for the starting price of 65 US dollars, I highly recommend it. It is absolutely worth that much for the base model and also the colored handles and the customization I think are also pretty decently valued. But that brings us to the overall value of the Tay Flipper, which I think is one of the best parts about it. When you buy a Tay Flipper, you're buying a trainer made by one person who just genuinely has a passion for the product they're creating. You're buying something from and supporting, I kid you not, one of the nicest and coolest people in this community. You're getting a product that punches way above its weight class in terms of just raw flipping ability. If you upgrade to custom handle colors, you're getting a customized knife, of course, but then you're also getting a free Torx bit and driver. Again, this is something I don't really see other companies doing, except for some of the mass-produced China dropshipping kind of things, but even people like Squid and BRS aren't really including drivers in their knives. Overall, I highly, highly recommend getting a tape flipper. They're super fun, you can flip in public, and it's cool to have a knife that, if you get the custom engraved one, is completely your own. And in general, you're supporting one of the nicest and coolest people in the Balance On community. Tay has helped me a lot recently with just figuring out different projects and modeling stuff I've been working on. If you were at Blade Show and you tried the 3D printed Nautilus scales, those were modeled and designed by Tay. We're not sure if those are officially gonna release, but if you did get to try them, just know that Tay was the one who made that whole thing possible. The Tay Flipper is not a perfect ballast song. No knife is, but the fact that this, a $65 3D printed ballast song, sits in my top five ballast songs I've ever tried, shows that if you can get used to the weight and the feeling of a 3D printed ballast song, it can be something you truly love. And again, it's not for everybody. It definitely does feel plasticky and to some people it can feel like a toy. But if you're like me and all you really care about is how much fun you have with a ballast song, you'll love this thing and I can almost promise you that. Thank you all for watching and thank you to my wonderful patrons of which there are currently zero. Someone please be the first. That's right, I started a Patreon. For $1 a month, you can get access to my videos early. Anything after that is just kind of supporting me right now. I literally like just started it right before recording this video. It's actually not even public while recording this video. I'm gonna publicize it uh, when the video goes live. So right now I'm just trying to sort out the tiers. It's all gonna start as basically the same benefits and I will add more as I figure out what people want and what I have the ability to do. But like I said, for $1 a month, you get my videos days in advance and also you get to support me and give me extra funds to make all of this stuff happen because these get expensive when you have a lot of them. So if you'd like to support me, pick whichever tier suits you because every dollar would help me out a ton. Thank you all for watching. Thank you Tay for letting me use this while I do this review. It's been a while, I apologize, but I appreciate each and every single one of you and I'll talk to you all again very soon.